This is Sally Jo coming live to you from the Posture Workshop. How is everybody today? Let me know where you are joining us from and tell me what the weather's like. Today we have the commencement of Daphne. Um, on this project we're going to be using the lovely Milk Cornish paint. Cornish paint. We're going to be using some Michelle de Caparage paper, Michelle by, uh, Mint by Michelle. Um, today is just the very start of the project, just for me to kind of get a feel where I want to go with her, what I want to do. Um, so, we'll get the paper out so you can see what my plan is. So, that is the plan. I'm going to take a brush and I'm just going to slap some paint on the surface and we're going to see what it does look at that coverage now i've not primed this piece at all all i've done is lightly i washed it first and then i lightly sanded it down look at that coverage it's fabulous i'm coming in with a blue lobster and what was this i'm terrible with names uh this is the thrift so thrift they're just coming in and out with these, with the smokehouse, the thrift, and the lobster, just to set my canvas for the paper. She's become might not to be able, might not have to do my um, exercising later on. Getting it here, just fine. So. The Setting the scene. The crackle is going to go all the way around. Now, I never like, um, unless I'm putting, would you bend along a straight edge on decoupage, which I can hide that edge. Um, if I were just to stick this to the surface and put my would you bend moldings on here, this would show um, um a, a straight line catches the eye so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start by ripping this so that i don't have that straight line Painted my would you bend mouldings with Cornish paint, and I'm going to get to work straight away. I've only gone over them with one coat of paint. I just wanted to get in and around the nooks and crannies there, so I don't have to go back in with a really small paintbrush afterwards. They're nice and bendy. Would you bend mouldings, for those of you who don't know, have all the properties of wood? So they can be sanded, they can be painted, stained, cut, everything that waxed, the stress, varnished, and of course drilled and glued. So I'm going to get this big bad boy on the bench. I think I'm going to let it um, dry just for these two here because the big pieces, there's a lot of glue on it. I know we usually say you can paint and go, but I would prefer to let them set a little bit. Right. We're now going to do some blending and some... I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know. I've got the Cornish, the Cornish paints out. I've got the metallic push chalk paste out and I'm just going to have a play. Look at that metallic shimmer. Isn't that awesome? 
Now, I'm doing all this with, um, with the posh chalk metallic pastes um, and I don't have all the colours I want. So I thought it's a great, um, adv uh, a great um, chance to show you how you can mix and create any hue, any colour of paste you wish by mixing other colours. So um, I'm going to be stenciling with... Oh, that way around. With the push chalk aged wallpaper stencil, I have my titanium. So the first colour we're going to try and achieve is orange, and we're going to be using the yellow cadmium and the sorry, the yellow canary and the red cadmium. And I'm going to start off with a little bit of the red. Oop. I'm going to put, I reckon I'll need plenty of the yellow to get the colour I want because I want a nice light orange subtle colour. So that is looking like the colour I want now. So that's my orange. Um, I'm going to get that nice and thoroughly mixed up. So I've already put my glue on the back of my stencil sprayed it on and I let it tack up for well it's been tacked up quite quite a time now but I think a couple of minutes does it so you leave it to just get nice and sticky and then you can work with the stencils relatively easy <clears throat> so I'm going to start off with what have I got going on around there? So I've got pinks. Uh, I'm going to start off with some pink. So this is my rose gold I'm coming in with here. Who? Diana. Hello, Diana. And I'm putting a little bit of white titanium on there. I will mix these colours in. And I'm now going to come in with some of that lovely colour that I've mixed there. You'll see that. I don't need a lot of this because it is quite still a vibrant colour. I was going for something a little bit more toned down, but. A bit more purple there. And I'm going to be really careful this time because on the other side I didn't get this line here. So you can see the line because I was really light on the top and then I, I was a bit more heavy handed um, on the bottom half of it. Ta da! Isn't that pretty? Hmm? So I'm going to have to be very careful now that I get exactly the same effect and colour here. As we're coming down, I'll come with some pink, some rose gold. And all I'm doing here is just blending the edges of the colours in. I'm just going to put a bit of white right in the middle there. Oh yes, that's fabulous. So we've got a continuation. We have got a bit of a mix of colours here, but you can't see the line where I stenciled 